All right, welcome back, everyone. It's time to do the interfaces. But before we do, we forgot one little thing in the line VTY 0 through 15. So we're going to go back into the router that we were in. Let's, uh, if I maximize it, you're way over there, so you can see that. I think you can see that. Let's make sure you can see that. So I'm just going to I'll do this instead. So I want to make sure that you can see it. And I'll move it right there. Okay, okay. So we're going to go to the line VTYs, which means we got to go to global config first. Line VTY zero. And like I said, if you put a question mark after that, it'll tell you how many lines you have. You see? It'll tell you right there. 15. So we put 15. And one of the things that we forgot because we configured SSH. So you're going to do transport input because you're going in and it's question mark oh transport what did I type wrong what did I type wrong see transport input okay we're gonna do all we're gonna do SSH we're gonna do telnet we're gonna do all and the only reason I'm doing all and I'm then I'm going to exit exit and do a copy run start remember I say you can say whenever you want I just did a new command so I wanted to save that because in the future and the lessons to come I got to show you how to tell that into the router or how to SSH so instead of going back and changing the configurations I'm just gonna allow for both I can SSH or telnet but in the real world you would either you would really just do SSH you really wouldn't do telnet some people still use it may you know internally or what have you but uh, SSH is the way to go so now let's go ahead and do the interfaces. Now, the interfaces, what I like to do is do show IP int brief, and that tells me the interfaces that I have. So I know I'm using S000 because that's what I usually start with. So I keep it consistent, and I always use the F00 for the routers when it's connecting to the LANs. So I know those are the two interfaces that I need to configure. I'm first going to do the LAN interface. And we're using the 192.168.100.1, uh, I believe, right? No, the 1.0. 1.0. Okay. So let's go ahead. I move this more and more this way. We're using the 1.0 and the 2.0. Okay. All right. So we're going to do config T. We're going to go inside the interface F0 slash 0. We're going to put the IP address, which this is your gateway. This is your gateway. So IP address 192.168.1.254.255.255.255.0. Now the next thing I'm going to type is a description, and it's nice. It's a it's a courtesy to type a description if you're going to test later on these lines. You know which is a circuit ID or which line is it that you're testing. So I'm just going to put a simple description which says connection to LAN. So it's just so you know which line this is. All right, if you're running some sort of test. And then all interfaces, all interfaces on routers by default are administratively down. Administratively down means you need to turn them on. So clue, if you do, which we'll do in a little bit, show IP and brief, and you see this administratively down, that means you never turned it on, okay? So I'm going to do a no shut. Be careful what you type there. <laughs> so no shut turns on the interface where shut turns off the interface, okay? And then we're going to do the S00 or S000, as I call it, S0 slash 0 slash 0 interface, IP address, and then that's going to be 10.1.1.5, 255, 255, 255, oops, where am I at? Now 1.5, 255, 255, 255, 252. Enter. Let's put a description. Connection to R2. Connecting to R2. And then we put a clock rate. Now the clock rate is the actual speed of the connection that you have going to the other one. 
But since this is a simulator, I can use the maximum speed, which is 4 million. And then I turn on the interface, no shut. So I'm going to exit, exit, and then I'm going to do a copy, run, start, enter, enter. Now, I could have done a control Z, WR. I could have done a do WR from where I was at. I didn't have to come back down to privilege mode to do that. That's the nice thing about the newer iOS's that you can do the do command right from where you're at so you don't have to come back down. But for those of you that are taking, well, those of you that are taking this course, obviously you're taking the CCNA 200-120 and you need to go ahead and know that you need to come back to privilege mode and do this. So now let's check the interfaces. I'm going to show you two commands. Show IP int brief. And let me open this up for you a little bit more. And what this is showing you right here, I'll stand over here. It's showing you the IP addresses for each of the interfaces that we put in. And look here, the serial 00 is showing down, down. Where my fast Ethernet 00 is showing up, up. What does that mean? Well, my fast Ethernet is working without a problem. My serial apparently has a problem, but this is a layer one issue. Possible question. This is a layer one issue. I haven't done the other side of the router. That's why there's no connectivity to the other side of the router. Therefore, showing that it's down, down. And you can see since I've never turned on these other interfaces, they're administratively down. Now, the other thing you could see is up, down. Line is up, protocol is down. That's another thing, another way you can see this. What that would mean is a layer two, encapsulation, clocking, CRCs. There's where you can see an up, down. But here you see is up, up, down, down. So we're good, but we have a layer one because we haven't done the other side, all right? So how do you configure? I want to show you a different way of configuring, and this is why you need to know really how to navigate through your router, okay? I'm going to go ahead and open up Notepad, which I have it right here already. And if you know how you're navigating through your router, all you really need to do is type the commands. And everybody scripts everything. Everybody out there has their scripts ready made up, and all you do is copy-paste into the router. Can do it in the, uh, in the test. But just to show you, I'm going to do router 2. I'm going to do router 2, but I'm going to do it in Notepad. And it's right there, okay? So I'm going to type enable. No, that's not enable. Enable, that's not enable either. Whoa, okay, last, let's type here. Enable, then I type config t. Then I'm going to type host name r2. Then I'm going to go ahead and start doing the passwords. Enable, password, Cisco. Enable. Wow. Secret. Student. My fingers are not working today. Let me uh, loosen them up. Enable secret student. Service. Password. Hyphen. Encryption, then the username. Let me open this up because since the font is big, because I can't see. All right, so we're going to do username. Aldeas, privilege, this is where spelling comes in. Privilege 15, no tabbing here. Privilege 15, password, Cisco, zero. There you go, look at that. Zero, Cisco. Then we're going to do the banner. Banner, MOTD. Start, we'll start this one with a, uh, what happened? Let's start this one with a dollar sign. Welcome to R2. And let's end it with a dollar sign. Okay. Then we do IP, domain hyphen lookup and again this one is already on you don't have to type it but again just to show you the command ip domain hyphen name cisco.com we're pointing it to the same dns server okay 
IP domain, uh, not domain, I'm sorry, IP name hyphen server, and that was 192.168.1.2, I believe. All right, and now we're going to go ahead and generate those crypto keys. Crypto key generate. RSA, you're going to hit enter, right? You're going to type 512, enter, okay? Because you got, that's the way you got to do it. Normally, you just hit enter, but just in case, I type 512 and I hit enter, all right? Then you're going to do line con zero password, Cisco, login, local, to use the local username, then we're going to go ahead and do um, exec hyphen timeout zero space zero, meaning my session should never timeout. Login synchronous, right? So the nuisance command. Then we're going to go to the line VTY zero space 15 password Cisco login local. Uh, exec, same commands, exec, I should have just copy pasted, exec, timeout, zero, zero, login, synchronous, all right, and then this is where we put transport input SS, uh, SSH, all, okay, now, Let's do the interfaces. We got the S0 slash 11 and we got the F00. So let's do the F00 first. So we're in line configuration mode. Let's exit once. That takes us to global. Int F0 slash 0, enter. IP address. This is the 192.168.2.254. That's the gateway. 255.255.255.0. Two five 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 enter. We do a description, connection to LAN, right? Basic, not LAS, LAN, right? Uh, and then, no shut, to turn it on. This is the DTE portion, and I just want to verify that indeed it is the S001, which I'm pretty sure it is, S001, yes. Okay, so we go int. S0 slash 0 slash 1 IP address and 10.1.1.6 255 255 255 252 enter no clock rate needed but let's put a description courtesy connection to R1 then we do a no shut and then we're going to type exit which we were in interface configuration mode that took us to global. We exit again, that took us to privilege. And then we do a copy, run, start, enter, enter. So then we just paste. And hopefully, I need a little control up thing. Hopefully, there should be no issues. And you want to make sure you. Go all the way down so you can hit those enters as well. I'm going to control C. And if I didn't make any mistakes, it should configure the router fully just like I did the other one. But again, you will need to be in enable, or not enable, I'm sorry, in user mode in order to start. So you're right there. All right, you would say no. At this point, because this is telling you, do you want to enter the initial configuration dialog? And you say no. And then you want to paste right into the router. You can right click and paste, or you just hit the button, and let's see what happens. And boom, no errors. It took everything. Completely configured. Let's verify. Show start. There's my storage password encryption, host name. There are my secret and plain text passwords, username, SSH versions, my domain name, my ethernet, my serial, okay? 
my banner, my line cons, and my uh, even my is my SSH in there? Login local. I don't see that SSH took in the line BTYs. Okay, so let's go back in there to make sure that that is configured. So line VTY zero space 15 transport input all. Just to make sure that it takes, because I didn't see it there. Oh, look what I was going to do. I'm going to do a shortcut. Control Z, WR, copied it, show start. I'm going to hit the space bar or enter, then the space bar all the way to the bottom. And is it supposed to show? Well, I guess not. We'll go ahead. But now you are fully configured. So two ways. In the first one, we did a step by step. We understood what each command did. And we navigated through the iOS of the router, putting in all the commands. We have forgotten one command, so we went back into the interface and put it in there. On the other router, router 2, instead of doing it that way, since we already knew where to go in the iOS, we actually just put in the actual commands in Notepad and then just paste it down. Obviously, some commands are going to be the same. The ones that are not going to be the same is the IP addresses and the host name. Those are not going to be the same. The passwords and all the other stuff will be the same. Now in the next lesson, we're going to go ahead and verify that everything is working, okay, and how we can telnet or SSH into our routers. I'll see you then.